Okay, so today we're going to tie the golden eye stone. Um, our hook up that we're using today is a TMC 200R, a little 330 seconds gold bead already applied to it. Um, first step is we're going to take some 010 lead and we're going to make some wraps here. And depending upon how heavy you need your fly, um, 10 to 12 wraps. Remember, it is 010, so it's really not going to have a whole lot of effect unless you put a bunch on there. I like to hit it with just a little bit of uh, super glue there, and that'll just help secure that in place. <clears throat> now, the thread we're using today is a uh, Danville 6 aught. It's this really nice, kind of brownish, reddish rust color. Um, don't know any other way to describe it, but uh, I really like this color. I use it for a number of fly patterns, especially like it with Betas patterns. Uh, it really makes a really nice red head on the Betas. And if you've never paid attention, a lot of the Betas nymphs they have these real big bulb, bulb, bulbous red eyes, and this color kind of imitates that really nicely. So <clears throat> the uh, thorax we're we're gonna tie today is. Uh, an orange ice dub. But first thing we're going to do with this ice dub is we're going to take just a little bit and spin it up here towards the back of the abdomen. We're going to make ourselves a, a little sort of ball here. It doesn't have to be real big. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to, uh, well, well, we'll put our biots on tire biots in and this will really help to keep them splayed so uh, the tail is just a, a kind of ginger colored biot we're going to make a little a little soft loop here and we can just tighten it up and again on the other side A little soft loop, and we'll just center down there with the second and third. Now, uh, don't cut those off. We can keep them on there, and they'll really help to give us some build to the body of the fly. You know, a lot of stone flies there fairly robust little critters. They uh, typically aren't like a lot of the mayflies you see, not like your, you know, your real small pseudocleons, your little trichos, your betas. These guys tend to have a little girth to them, so we're going to just build this up a little bit. Now our uh, abdomen is actually uh, the sulfur orange biot. And I've already stripped one, and we're going to tie it in. Now on these biots, they have a, uh, a kind of dull side and a, I guess a shiny side, or a convex and a concave side. And what I want to do is I want to tie this concave side down, or dull side down. And this really doesn't, isn't too important. And then you get a little bit of... A difference in the way the body is segmented based on how you tie it in and um, that's just a function of how those biots are. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this biot up. Tie her off here with a few wraps. Now, uh, for a wing case, what we're going to use is this black crystal flash. And um, a little trick is you just take this crystal flash, you just kind of loop it over your thread like so. And what you can do is put tension on both of them, and that will allow you to pinpoint exactly where you want that to go. And then we're just going to 
lay it back over and we'll put a couple wraps right on top of the, the ends of that and that'll really fasten that in there and pretty much those are never going to come out. Again for the thorax we're using this orange eye stub. I'm just going to just a bit on here. Tie it in right there. And our legs. Again we're using the uh, sort of ginger colored biots for legs. Our second leg in over here. Make sure they're the same size. Looks good, and then I'll just go ahead and pull those tips back and take a couple wraps on top or in front of them to help lock those in place. And then again with the ice dub. Our next set of legs. I do is I just make a soft loop there and then progressively get tighter each subsequent wrap. And our second set, last of our second set. Okay, and lastly, we're just going to. Add a wee bit more of this crystal flash to the or ice dub to the thorax just to kind of finish it up. Now, um, we want to move our thread to the in front of that bead there and grab this crystal flash to pull it over like so. Just take a couple turns there and then one in front. And then I want to make sure those don't ever come out so I'm going to a little bit of super glue on there. I'm going to make two more turns on top and one more in front before we trim those off. And then lastly we're just going to go ahead and finish up our head. Clean out any super glue. There you have your golden ice stone.